Oh, that was sick! Parkour 2011. 2011? Welcome back, everyone, to another... I wanted to, I wanted to start it off with action. You know, first 15 seconds, the most important part of a YouTube video is first 15 seconds. Today we're going to take a look at Cube Rocks. It's a six-screen waterproof Linux-powered computer. What they mean when they say Linux-powered computers, they mean that Lin Linus the Linux Penguin is going to be, you know, going on a little uh, spin wheel inside there, and he's going to be powering it, because it's, it's Linux-powered. Powered by Linus the Linux Penguin. Not to be confused with Linus Tech, tech Tips. Hi guys, my name is Dimitri, and I would like to introduce you to Cuberox, a product that will change the way you interact with modern technology. Oh man, it's like looking into a mirror. A mirror that shows what, what I'll look like in two months from now. Bald on the top and a couple nice little fucking high mutton chops. I don't know what you'd call these. Earmuffs? We've created a simple, easy to use device loaded with features that you will find applicable in your daily use. But is the product designed to make my interaction with technology more enjoyable and meaningful? The product is designed to make your interaction with technology more enjoyable and meaningful. Oh wow. Let me walk you through some of the features of the Cuberox device. Cuberox can help you track time without pulling your cell phone out of your pocket. Hey guys, it's not, it's not a crappy project after all. The cube's a clock. Check local weather so you know what to put on. Well fuck me sideways, it shows the weather. Never miss an email. Before I got the cube rocks, I had no idea where my emails were going. I was getting messages from all my buds, and they were just disappearing. I, d I didn't know how to know when, when they messaged me. Uh, smart, what's a smartphone? Does that tell you when, when emails appear? No, it can't. The cube rocks does that. Cube rocks pr ha probably has a patent pending on that. Always stay on top of how your stocks are doing on the market. You can check on how your Apple stocks are doing on your Linux Smart Cube while simultaneously checking out the Linux Smart Cube stocks on your Lenovo tablet. Laptop. Whatever. The joke was there. It's silly. That's the joke, is that it's fucking silly. Keep your recipe handy so you know what ingredients to mix. Shut the fuck up. Really? You re keep your recipe handy? Then you show the cube that says, Boil 1.5 liters at 180 degrees. Uh, and also, here's a fucking image you can't tell what the fuck it is because it's 16 by 16 resolution. It's the future. Connect your Cuberox to Wi-Fi and play games with your friends online. It is easy to set up or connect to a multiplayer game via your smartphone. It's the end all be all of devices. You can cook with it, you can smartphone with it, you can alarm with it, you can stocks with it. And you can multiplayer game with it, baby. You can play with people from all across the world. Play wonderful games such as Tetris, Brick Break, and Snake. And literally nothing else, because fucking 16 by 16 resolution. Also, do you want color? You're not gonna get it, fuckhead. Keep your kids busy solving mathematic problems or play memory improvement games and help them learn an alphabet and geometric figures. Oh yeah, I, I love it. Uh, 16 by 16 resolution means simple to, simple to use, simple to play with. I give it to my niece, she loves it. She does her ABCs on there. I, I would try to give her my iPhone. She won't touch the thing. She won't touch it. You know, and that's because it's too complicated for her. Too much pixel density in the iPhone. She, no, it's not good. It's, uh, it poisons our youth. It, and it, and it, it rapes them too. Don't let our youth get raped. Technology's raping our youth. I really hope that he's not serious, that, that this is not a device meant to be given to a child for them to learn the alphabet and geometric figures because that is fucking retarded. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna give my $200 device as a fucking play block for my child. Fuck the little wooden things that have, you know, a bunch of different letters on them that are about as static as this is. Fuck that shit. You know, that, that cost me two cents. I want to give my kid a $200 goddamn piece of shit block. Cuberox can be your GPS in a car. But iDubs, 
You're supposed to move it with you. Take it wherever you want, man. It's super mobile. Yeah, it's super mobile. Like, way more mobile than a mobile phone. It's a, it's a cube that's this fucking big. Yeah, it, you're right. It is mobile. Highly mobile. Cuberox can be your GPS in a car and can simply be fun for the entire family. We don't know how it's gonna be fun, we're just assuming that it's gonna be fun because we need people like you to buy this shit up and make some apps for this horrible device. Please buy our product. We don't have any, we don't have this app that we're showcasing here because it's just some fucking bullshit and it's harder to make than we probably want to spend the time doing, so please just trust us that it is fun for the whole family, even though it's absolutely not. You can use the cube as a smart alarm in the bedroom. Stay up to date on your tweets and Facebook updates. Oh, that's perfect. You can stay up to date with your tweets. So if you get any cool iDubs tweets, you know, that, that 140 character tweet is going to perfectly map to that fucking cube. Perfectly. And you're going to see it from every angle because it's a cube, which allows for perfect viewing from every angle because it's a fucking cube. Are you goddamn shitting me? Well, iDubs, look here. It says America hashtag kickstar. Oh yeah, you're right. They they even fucking proved my goddamn point right there. Old school games in New Europe on six sides. Snack in 6D or a multi-dimensional Tetris. Fun is guaranteed. Nostalgia and new features is an explosive cocktail. I understand that your stupid donkey brain is going to have a hard time grasping onto this, but no matter what dimensions you play Snake in, it's still fucking Snake. You know what I just thought about? Is the fact that it's probably gonna fall at some point. You know, if you're putting it on your fucking dashboard or your, or your mantle or your fucking whatever, it's gonna eventually fall. And that shit's probably heavy. It's got a, it's got a, a fucking touch screen on every side. You think your, your phone is in danger of taking damage when it falls? Think about this shit. You think they're gonna do drop tests on it? They probably aren't gonna do drop tests on it. They're probably gonna say, well, if you drop it, you're fucked. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for the Smart Linux Cube. Uh, the project itself wasn't put together that poorly. There was uh, a lot of information that I had to fucking scroll through. Nothing really misspelled as far as I could tell, so you did a good job there. You did a really good job there. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Remember to tune in next time when I kick over my kickstand. <laughs>